Columbia has won more money than any other bull rider this year. Eleven thousand dollars. Slide, right, right, buddy. Right, slide. Right. Well, I think the the word winner comes to mind when I think of of Kai Pausebon, and and that, and I don't mean that just in the in terms of the arena. You never saw anybody who who could win over the hearts of kids as quickly as Ty Pausebon. They they just loved him from the first moment they met him. He loved the way of life. He embodied what it was. He was he was wild. He was reckless. Uh, he was compassionate, and uh, he loved the sport. Uh, he was the true definition of uh, of a cowboy. Well, Ty Pausebon sliding up quickly. The Canadian. Kind of nice travel with Ty. He was a lot younger than me and, and made me feel a lot younger. And, and he was just, just fun to be around. You just miss that little bugger. Very first year he made the Canadian finals as a rookie. Tanner Gerlitz and myself played a pretty pretty harsh joke on him. And we uh, we managed to tell him that the Canadian finals was canceled that year and, and really got him going. And uh, I can honestly say it's the first time I've seen a grown man cry about uh, not being able to go to a rodeo. So it was uh, Pretty special memory for this me. This is a guy that is living in the zone this week, man. He just rode at the World Finals for five days with a broken bone in his hand. He, uh, you know, he just, he would never quit, and he just was a gritty sucker. He had talent and uh, skill that he worked at day to day. He worked really hard at it, and with the right techniques, he could ride the rank ones and all the good ones. So he was definitely one we watched for. He was one of the best. He was one of our best. It didn't matter who you were, where you were, how busy he was, he made time for a guy. He was super humble, he's one of the best in the whole world. It didn't matter if you were a hobo on the street, if he'd seen you before or met you before, he stopped and shook your hand and said, ask you how your day was going. Number one bull rider in all of Canada. And tonight, he does not ride alone. It wasn't a day or a time of day we were going down the road where he wasn't talking about the next bull riding or the bull riding that we just came from. Just his love and passion for the sport. Ozzy, you know, he, he showed us that we were capable of, of more than what we thought we were capable of. He motivated all of us to start going across the line and start winning and showed us that we can win down there. That was just a, a great cowboy. He, uh, he was always out there for his fans. He was always out there signing autographs, and, and he was he loved helping people, and he loved helping kids. And uh, he was just a, a great guy and a great friend. Pretty much got me set up going to college down in Odessa, and he's been kind of my mentor since I was 14. He truthfully loved riding bulls more than anybody I've ever seen. Most people at a young age enjoy everything that goes with it, the traveling, the hanging out. He just loved being a bull rider. For second, 88 points for Pazabon. All bull riding, everything aside, he was one of the best friends. Right, thanks, Ty. We'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks, Ted. All right. For PBR.com, I'm Ted Stewart. Driving around with him out by his place in Merritt and just talking about life, talking about what we were going to do in the future, talking about his family, our friends, laughing. Um, you know, that's that's really what I miss is just is laughing with that guy. I've got so many moments with Ty. Uh, at, at the house just this last year, Ty was so caring, and, and little kids just loved him so much. My, I've got I've got lots of times just watching watching him and Harlow walk across the yard holding hands, and that was that was my daughter's first boyfriend. The bull riding world, not just our country, not just North America, the bull riding world lost one of its very best of all time. But I know he's looking over our shoulders, and he wants us to move on and keep riding like we are. a game changer for this Canadian cowboy. How about 87 and a quarter points? He was a very special man, but I guess the word that I would use is unforgettable. Excited, definitely excited. Fun. <laughs> Goofball. Friends. He's, a, he's just a great guy. Happy. Pals. Cowboy. To the, to the core. Exceptional. Funny, <laughs> I guess would have to be. Incomparable. Hell. Passion. He had a passion for riding bulls. He's with us now in the air and, and in the wind and with every breath we take. And I love him and I miss him more than I can put into words.
our, our sport is, is much the poorer for, for having lost him, but uh, we're much the richer for having known him. You know, if you've never spent any time behind the buck and shoots at a bull riding event, you'll quickly come to find that there's no stars in our locker room. Now these bull riders, they compete against each other week in and week out, but their relationship is far from competitive. When we talk about great bull riding champions, talk about one in particular tonight. But when we talk about the relationship between cowboys, it's truly something special. Ladies and gentlemen, bull riders tonight have formed a relationship and it's like family. And when one falls, we all fall. Die? You left us too soon, my friend. Now I knew Ty Pazabon, and I knew him well. And I can tell you that all of his bull riding accomplishments, as incredible as they were, paled in comparison to the man that he was. Now tonight marks the opening of the 2017 PBR Canada season. And our reigning champion is supposed to be in that center alleyway preparing for his introduction. But tonight, that center alleyway sits empty. But all of our bull riders, all of our stock contractors, and all of our production staff behind the scenes felt that Ty deserved one last intro. So boys, let's do this one up right for Ty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is considered one of the greatest bull riders in the entire world. He's a former Canadian Rookie of the Year, a four-time World Finals qualifier, and the 2016 PBR Canada National Champion. From Merritt, British Columbia, this is Ty Pazabod. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it one more time for the one, the only, Ty Pazibon! 